Hi, my name is Dana Young. I'm going to lead you through a quick setup of the virtual concierge service for your vacation rental or hotel. Step one is to go to the website. It's virtualconciergeservice.com and you can see the green button to sign up. Now here in the email field, I'm going to use my normal email that I check and have as on a normal basis for the lodge at Palmer Lake and sign up. Okay. So we are now signed in to the virtual concierge. You can see a support button here. If we click support, we can see setup instructions for Amazon Echo. If you're setting up Google Home, you can also go here for those instructions. Enabling guest access on mobile devices is here. And then you can see all the things that we've been up to in terms of release schedule under the release notes. But for now, let's go back to setting up for the Amazon Echo. Okay, so we're just going to go through these three steps. Step one is get an Echo or a Dot from Amazon. You can click here and purchase one. and They just link straight to Amazon.com. I've gone ahead and done that. I've got an Echo set up here next to me. And I've done this with a separate Amazon account. So we recommend setting up a separate Amazon account for each vacation rental property where you want unique independent content for your vacation rental. The next step, follow the normal instructions to get it online. So mine's online. I can say, Alexa, what time is it? It's 5.36 p.m. Okay, that's step one. Now in step two, let's move on and enable the virtual concierge service skill. We're going to log on to the Alexa companion app and then go to skills and pick the vacation rental concierge service. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this so I can paste it right into the window. We'll click here. And we'll go to skills. Paste in that string. And you can see the vacation rental concierge service. Click that. And enabling is as simple as clicking the big blue enable button. When you do that, another window or tab will come up. It'll ask you to sign in. So I'm going to sign in with my account that was made specifically for this vacation rental. That is concierge at lodge at palmerlake.com. Go ahead and sign in. Say allow. And the account has been successfully linked. So we can go ahead and shut this window down. And you can see that the button now says disable skill, which indicates that it is now enabled. Back over here in instructions, we've completed step one. We just completed step two, and let's move on to step three. So the first step is to go to the management portal. I'll click here. And we're going to log in with that same email address that I used, Dana at lodge at palmerlake.com. I'll log in. And you can see that currently I have no properties. To add a property, click on the Add Property button. So I'm going to go over here and click Add Property. And I can choose to either add a property with a Google Home device on the Google side or an Amazon Echo. I've got an Echo, so I'm going to log in with Amazon here. And do you see concierge at lodgeatpalmerlake.com? I'm going to log in with the account that I used specifically for that vacation rental. I'll click sign in. Click allow. And now I have a property. So, concierge at lodgeatpalmerlake.com, I've got a passcode. You can see here kind of a tile layout. If I click on a tile, one of the properties, it will bring me into the custom content section of the portal. From here, I can go ahead and complete the custom content. Before we go any further, let's go ahead and try to invoke the concierge service and see what happens without any content defined. Alexa, use the concierge service. Thanks for enabling the virtual concierge. You are on your way to provide your guests a valuable new service. 
The next step is to go to the owner portal and set up your custom content. Please see the instructions on our website. That URL is as follows. Portal.VirtualConciergeService.com Okay, so you can see that without any content, the virtual concierge can't deliver anything to our guests. So our next step is going to be to go ahead and define some of that content. We're going to go ahead and get started by entering some host information and property information. Our property type in our case is a lodge. The name, the lodge at Palmer Lake. The address is in fact 1652 Loomis Orville Road. And now this next step is upload a property image. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a file. Now I've got some pictures here from our website. I'm going to go ahead and copy this path so that when I'm asked to choose a file, it makes it easy to navigate. Put that right in. And I'm going to choose this picture right here. Upload image. And as that image is uploading, we'll have the basics now completed. So we can go ahead and save our inputs and then look down towards completing the custom content in the, in the fields below. You can see there's, there's nothing here. I'm going to go ahead and hit save to start with. Okay, now we can go ahead and add a welcome message here. We can add a completely custom item by entering a title, for example, hiking. And we have a tag actually for hiking. It's called hiking trail. So if someone asks for a hiking trail, they'll get this content. I can put, this is hiking content. And I've got one completely custom item and that's it in terms of my content so far. I'll go ahead and hit save inputs. Now let's see what Alexa says. Alexa, use the concierge service. Welcome to the lodge at Palmer Lake. For hiking, say one. Now, what can I help with? Stop. Okay. Okay, you can see how quickly and easily I added a little piece of content and then had that available via the concierge. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that because it's not very interesting. And the really the best way to start in terms of adding content if you want to get started quickly is to load our template. If I pick load template, it says template is loaded. And now I've got really a full featured set of content that is specific to, it's the real life example from the Lodge at Palmer Lake. This is what we deliver to our guests with the concierge. There's a number of things in here and anything that you like, you can keep anything that you want to modify you can go ahead and click in there and change however you like. Let me share a little bit about the model here in terms of this tree structure. You can see that some items are indented from other items. That indicates that an indented item is quote unquote a child item of the parent item up above. So if I were to ask for arrival and departure, in the virtual concierge interface, I would then get the sub options underneath that of arrival, departure, and parking. These are all dynamic and this tree structure is developed in such a way that you can reorder things to your uh, liking. If I want garbage and recycling ahead of Wi-Fi in the menu, I would just drag and drop it above. So now you can see the way that the order of the menu would be is garbage and recycling presented before Wi-Fi and making calls, etc. So I've talked about tags. I've shown you the ability to reorder things, to delete items. What about just adding an item? Of course, you can hit a plus sign under any of these. And if you do so, you will be creating a child item, a sub item underneath that parent item. There are instructions available, the basics, some more details. Over here in the upper right corner under account, there's a feedback button. 
If you have any questions, if you'd like to provide any sort of feedback at all, we'd love to hear from you. you go ahead and click there. But before we sign off, let's go ahead and see how the concierge sounds now that we've actually gone ahead and loaded the template and we have something to present to guests. Alexa, use the concierge service. Welcome to the lodge at Palmer Lake. To get started, say, give me some tips, or would you like a menu of options? Yes. For a personal welcome from the owner, say one. For the lodge, say two. For places in the area, say three. Or say, more choices. Now, what are you interested in? Tell me about Palmer Lake. Palmer Lake covers 2,100 acres, is about 5 miles long and 80 feet deep. For fishing, say one. For boating, say two. For lodge watercraft, say three. Now, what are you interested in? Three. Included in your stay is the use of some watercraft such as a paddle boat, fishing boat, a canoe, a kayak, and three paddle boards. We also provide complimentary use of various beach supplies such as some water toys, life jackets, and boat seat cushions. There is a checkout sheet for these items. Just ask Kathleen. Please return them at the end of your stay. How else can I help? That's all. Okay. Okay. That's a wrap for a quick introduction on how to get set up with the Vacation Rental Virtual Concierge. Please do be in touch if we can be of any help or assistance. Thank you.